Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice and interesting functional equations? We have a functional equation defined piecewise. That is, we have some inequalities of greater than, less than, and equals to. So we call this one trichotomy, or we have it as piecewise functions. And we're interested to find f of 5 plus f of 6, given these conditions. I will solve this in two different ways. And if we know how to solve this, we can just drop it in the comment box. So let's get into it. When you consider the solution for the first method, since the first one, we are going to be applying the direct recursive substitutions as for the first condition, t greater than 4, that is, the value of t here starts from 5, 6, 7 upward. But what we are asked to find is only f of 5 plus f of 6. So we have to limit ourselves to only 5 and 6. 5 is greater than 6 and uh, 4 is also greater than, 6 is also greater than 4, which means we apply the first one. And if you look at the second one here, we have t less than or equals to 4. That is, the value of t will be 4, 3, 2, and other values below it. So let's start with the first one. Suppose we have t to be equals 5. The first function is f of t equals f of t minus 1, then plus t. If we have our t to be equals 5, we are going to have this as f of 5 equals f of 4 plus 5. So I'm going to start this one and call this one equation 1. And again, if we have t to be equals 6, using the same function, we have f of 6 equals f of 5 plus 6. We call this one equation 2. But looking at this, we have f of 4 here, which we have not gotten yet. And the f of 5 and f of 6 we are looking for, they are part of this. But how can we combine this together? So here comes the second function. Since we have 4 less than or equals to 4, we are going to be applying the second equation. As the first equation has restricted us not to have t equals 4. So we go for the second one, we are going to have when our t equals 4. Or if you want to define it very well, you can just say 4 is less than or equals 4. So we choose t to be equals to 4. And applying this, we have f of t equals t minus f of t plus 1. And then we have f of 4 equals we have 4 minus f of t plus 1, that is 4 plus 1, it gives us 5. So we call this one equation 3. And let's try and add all this together. So we add equation 1 plus equation 2 plus equation 3, and to get the value of f of 5 plus f of 6. So for the first one, we are going to have f of 5, then plus f of 6 plus f of 4 equals what we have for f of 5 is given as f of 4 plus 5 and what we have for f of 6 is given as f of 5 plus 6 and again what we have for f of 4 is 4 minus f of 5. So by this some have already cancelled each others. So by considering f of, uh, we have f of 5 minus f of 5 cancelled. And also we have f of 4 cancelled f of 4 here. We only have f of 5 plus f of 6. And by adding f of 5 plus f of 6 together, we have here as 5 plus 6 plus 4. So 5 plus 6 plus 4, that gives us 15. So therefore, f of 5 plus f of 6 is equals 15. This is how to solve this 
using fixed method. So let's solve this in another method. And if you are just coming to our channel, please do it to subscribe, share, and like this video. Thank you. You are welcome to the second method. So let's call this one method two. From the first one, we have f of t equals f of t minus 1, then plus t. If I want to make only t here, we are going to have f of t minus f of t minus 1 equals t. And similarly, if you consider the second one as well, we have f of t plus f of t plus 1, this equals t. And this is still valid for the first condition that we have at t great less than or equals to 4 and uh, t greater than 4. So for the first equation here, so since you have f of t minus f of t minus 1, so this is only going to be valid for uh, the first formula that we have when t is equals 5. So if t equals to 5 here, we are going to get uh, the result that we need and also for the second one as well. So let's start the check. So suppose in the first one, if I let t here to be equals 5. So what I'm going to have is we have f of 5 minus f of 4. This equals 5. And from the second one, suppose I let t here to be equals 4. So we have f of 4 plus f of 5 equals 4. There are two equations. Let's add this together. If I add this together, we have this cancelled. And here we have f of 5 plus f of 5. This gives us 2f of 5 equals 5 plus 4, that is 9. And we have f of 5 equals 9 divided by 2. So I don't need f of 4 here. So what I just do is, in this first equation, if I let t equals 6, so we are going to have f of 6 minus f of 5, that equals 6. And we know that our f of 5 here is given as 9 divided by 2. So therefore, we have f of 6, which is going to be equals 6 plus 9 over 2. And 6 plus 9 over 2, it gives us 21 divided by 2. So f of 5 and f of 6 has been gotten. And when we add this together, we are going to have... 9 over 2 plus 21 over 2 and this gives us 30 divided by 2 and that is 15. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye bye.